Hello! Welcome to the three benefits of a PNG file. I thought I'd just put them in a nutshell because PNG files are the file types that are most misunderstood, I think, in the ecosystem that is the Remarkable. So I thought, let's just put it all in one document and then I can just talk through it and you can take that on board and, and do what you will with this information. All right, so the three benefits of a PNG file. First of all, what is a PNG file? It's an image. That's it. It's an image. All right. What is a PNG file inside of your Remarkable? Okay. This, these are the PNG files inside your Remarkable. It's a native notebook. I use the word native. I've got another video on um, the words that are used inside of the Remarkable ecosystem. That's helpful if you're a learner in this space, if you're new. A native notebook course I'm going to need the sidebar when I close it aren't I oh let me just hop out so one finger down hops out these are native notebooks anything you create up here with plus notebook or plus quick sheets is a native notebook it's a notebook that is created in the format for the remarkable loves uh, which one are we in we're in this one all right or you can pull down your document drawer Hello. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, you know what it is? I do this. I still do this. It's See how it's sinking? When it's sinking, it doesn't respond to anything. It feels like it's not doing anything, but it's just sinking. There we go. Now it's going to put me back in the wrong document. <laughs> I just did that video. All right. So a native notebook, I've explained that. A native template, when you come here to layers and you click on template, these are native templates. These are the templates Remarkable provide. At the moment, I have no custom templates in here. When you do upload your own, depending on which app you're using, you can create your own folder. You can add it to any of these folders. So it'll be in here somewhere depending on where you've actually put it. These are native templates all right so th these are png files all right png files so what is a png file in your remarkable it is i'm just going to say it again these are png files so what we're actually writing on right now these notes this notebook is actually a png file inside of my remarkable it can become something different when i send it off but inside of here it is a png file all right what else is a png file any template you add. So again, when we come to layers and we go to this template section, in here is where you can add your custom made templates. They can be uh, sleep screens. They can be uh, for the, you know, when you um, turn your machine off and it's restarting and it crashes and all that, it, a screen comes up. That's what a sleep screen is. Or it can be a template to write on. You could have a, if you're a lawyer, say you could have a, a certain type of formatting that you need. If you're a real estate agent, you could have, you know, the property address up the top and a room for notes here and then actions down the bottom. And that could be something you use all the time. You can create that as a PNG file, upload it into here. And then every time you open a file, file you just go into template, you grab it, you come back and you write on it and it's all there. At the moment, I'm using a blank png file to to write on in here all right so the pngs in your remarkable are just to recap the native notebooks the native templates the templates you upload and the sleep screens you upload again which would be in here right so that's what a png file is in your remarkable how do you use it this is probably the nuts and bolts of the meat and potatoes of of this little tutorial with PNG files, you can type, see this letter T? This is present here because I'm in a PNG file, a native notebook. Um, I could also be in a PNG file that I uploaded and that T would still be present, which means, what that T means is that I can start typing, right? That's what the T means. When you're in a PDF file, see this? You cannot type in a PDF file, can't do it. Let me show you. Um, let me hop out of there. Let's go over here. I think I've got a document just sitting here. Yeah, 
Um, this is a PDF. We know this is a PDF because it says it's a PDF, right? And can you see there's no T? There's no T because you can't you can't do it. So let's just pull up the document drawer, go back to where we were. Right, so typing, you can do the benefits are you can type in a PNG. You can convert notes to text in a PNG. So if we go here, you can see convert notes. I could convert this whole page to text. Do you know what I read the other day? If you write at an angle, it's harder for the OCR to work, the uh, character recognition, recognition, sorry, to work. The character recognition software to work. According to Remarkable's website, up and down writing is easier for it to understand and interpret. So again, if we go back to our other example of a PDF, you can see I've got writing in here, like hello. Well, that's not writing. <laughs> Have you ever done that when you're writing and you can't work out what's wrong with the pen? <laughs> When I go here, can you see there's no option to convert to text? That's because it doesn't work in a PDF. It works in a PNG. So these are the benefits of a PNG. You can type, you can convert notes to text, and you can move a page out of a PNG file. Um, you can't move a page out of a PDF file. A PDF file is a unit that you bring into your device and it stays that way. It, you can't get manipulated or anything like that. You, you, if you write on it, you can copy text and write and put it somewhere else. But you cannot change the actual file structure of a PDF, okay? But you can of a PNG. So that's another benefit of a PNG file. And is there anything else? This is just one more thing. When you export or send, so there are two different functions. Exporting is one function. Sending is another function. A notebook which is a PNG file, as we know, it can become one of three things. It can become a PDF. You can send it as a PNG file or you can send it as an SVG file. Excuse me. <coughs> Special vector. I'm not sure what that stands for. It's a graphical, it's a graphical file, um, but I don't know the exact words. So that is all the benefits of a PNG file. I hope that was helpful. Any love on the channel is always appreciated. Thanks so much.